Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we are doing our first video on season six. I just wanted to do a little overview video, like trying out the new guns, seeing what everything does. Um, I didn't get a chance to try out the mythic shotgun and the new mythic boots in this video, but I did try out like the crafting and all the other sort of things. And if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get right into it. All right guys, we're dropping into our first game of the day. Um, normally around steaming stacks there are about three super chests that can spawn so we're gonna go to steaming stacks and check if any of them spawn this game and I'll show you guys the spots that they normally are so you guys know for the future these chests only have about a 50% spawn rate so you kind of just gotta flip a coin when you choose to land over here there also is a couple other of the super chest spawns that I know about where they are and we'll check those other spots in a a different game because I'm sure that this is gonna take longer than I want it to. Alright, we landed on a green pump. Got another green SMG. Get some loot. There was some people that came here. We'll see if we can come out of here alive. Alright, so one of the first spots that this can spawn and it did spawn. Okay, good. One of the first spots this can spawn is right inside this middle building. It can drop any sort of god loot that you would want. But that is just one of the spots that it can spawn. Alright, so we are in kind of a tough situation right now. No. Alright, so when you come down to Sweaty Sands, you're gonna land at this very corner house closest to Bony Bird. Did it spawn? Okay, it spawned. So you just come in here and it spawns right in, uh, behind this bed in the top of this house. You get all kinds of loot from it. You can actually get RPGs from the, those chests. We do got a person in this house right next to us, so. Alright, there we go. We got one person down. I'll show you guys like the crafting and everything after I can get out of here. Where did this guy go? Oh, he's definitely in this house right here. Alright, we had to get out of there. He was doing too much damage. This kid is really good at the game. Oh no, he was at 3 HP. I'm in a very bad spot right now. Hopefully they fight so I don't have to fight. All right, that's one kill. Now we got a shotgun to try and protect ourselves. Very helpful compared to what we only had before. not gonna break all right there we go we got three kills this NPC inside of this main building in steamy stacks you do have to try and fight him for one of the new blue uh, shotguns like the new blue primal shotguns I'm not gonna do that because I'm not trying to get killed Okay, come over here, and there should be one up in this roof of this very front house. Okay, it didn't spawn this time, but when you guys do come here, it does spawn right behind this bed in this roof right here. I got a long way to get to Storm, so I'll get back to you guys when I make it into Circle or when we're in our next fight. Instead of Tomato Head being there, it's Christina. There's just a bunch of new NPCs and so much new stuff to explore in the new update. I definitely am enjoying the update a lot more than other updates that we have had recently. Oh, we got a person right up in front of us right here. Dead. 
There we go. Alright, we got some metal components. Once we do have four metal components or four bones, that's how we craft either the primal SMG or the submachine gun. When you guys are trying to get more of the regular guns, like the pumps and the scars, you use the mechanical parts. But if you're trying to get the new like primal weapons, you use the bones that you can get from the animals. And the mechanical parts you just get from the cars around the map or you're, there's like a bunch of like certain little things that you can get them out of like the toolboxes. And there's a bunch of new upgrades for the bows like fire bows, stink bows. But I'm not going to get all into that this video. We'll go ahead and do another video when it comes to looking into the new bows since they took snipers out of the game. Alright we got three out of our four for our SMG. Just looking for one more mechanical part and Rex right here, he does sell bones. So if you guys are ever looking for bones, he does sell them. He only sells eight at a time, but it helps a lot when you land here and you get crappy guns. I haven't really seen too many people. I've only seen five people, which kind of concerns me because that probably means that most of the good players are going to be in the circles coming up. I think this is AI. And have you guys noticed that the AIs are a lot like better this season? Like they jump around and crouch for movement. I like last season they would just place a couple walls and just run at you basically. But this season they do a lot more like crouch and jump around when they shoot which honestly scares me because I'm starting to wonder what they're going to do with next se season's AIs. Oh, we got a person right here. They're about to take that too. I'm going to sit right here. Craft it up for a second. Now, how do you see that going? Got another person right down here. No, someone came up behind me. That's unfortunate. That was a little seven kills right there. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and end off the video there. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe and comment down what you guys want to see below. I'm just trying to get more into the swing of filming videos like this because, you know, I've, I've just been in like the streaming part of it, but I'm trying to get more into YouTube. So if you guys do want to subscribe, that'd be very much appreciated. And thank you guys for watching. Peace out, guys. Shorty want me so bad, do your knees hurt? Yeah, I'm counting paper crop in my beat.